Hello journalers, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal and we have a new slash old screen recorder for you to look at today. Now I covered this way back in the summer of 2016 when it appeared on the App Store very briefly before being removed and it's appeared elsewhere and a lot of people have been asking me to cover this but I've had my reservations for reasons that will become clear very soon. But it's always useful to have another iOS screen recorder in the back catalogue, so let's take a look at it. This is the link that you'll want to use to get to the application, and here is the screen information. And I guess it's right to cover this application again because it has been supported recently with new builds and updates. So let's go and download it by pressing on this button here, which with any luck should give me a pop-up telling me to install this new screen recorder, which I have no idea what it's called, so I'm going to call it robot recorder yeah let's give it that name for this particular review now as per usual this is a screen recorder that you're downloading from outside of the App Store so it does need a certificate that will get signed and of course revoked so that is something that you will need to consider but once you have downloaded the application and it is working then you'll be greeted by this screen which I can't read You'll also be greeted by this screen, which I can't read, and finally this screen, which I can't read. So you can kind of get the idea why I don't recommend this screen recorder on a regular basis because I can't understand any of this language. If anybody wants to contribute knowing uh, whether it's Japanese or Mandarin, I'm going to guess it's Mandarin, then by all means post in the comments and help us out here. But yeah, the uh, settings... Uh, well, um, yeah. fortunately there are one or two things I do know how to do. The first is how to do a screen recording, fancy the illustrations here, landscape or portrait, tap on one of the buttons and that should kick off a screen recording if the application is cooperating, which in this case it is. First time you do it, it will ask for access to the microphone, so it is going to record the external sounds we presume and as usual I'm going to do a very quick couple of swipes to make sure that it does do some sort of screen recording and when you want to stop the recording go back to the application tap stop and that should put the recorded video into the application which is all well and good if you wanted to delete the video you could swipe to the left and presumably that means delete now again thanks to the language barrier it took me ages to work out how to export videos to your photos but thanks to aj170 and tech video apple i'll put links in the descriptions to both of those YouTube channels this is how you export a video tap in the top right hand corner then select it and then tap the middle blue button and that will ask you whether to access the photos and save your video and of course that's what you want to do so it's going to pop it into the photo gallery on your iOS device which thank god that took days to work out I should have asked somebody sooner anyway here is your recorded video and the first thing to note as usual with video recorders is that you can see the tracking along the bottom here so it will track the video we've got no glitching which is good unlike Airshow but now let's put this screen recorded video onto a computer and find out some more details about what you're actually getting for your screen recorder. Because the language is impenetrable on the app, I'm relying on data from the file properties of a recording when I copy it to a computer. And the resolution seems to be in between at 720p and 1080p and the frame rate is at a respectable 28 frames a second. And on first impressions, the screen recording seems pretty good. The image quality is high, the frame rate is decent, but listen to the audio. It's way in front of the actual action on screen, as much as half a second. You can see in particular here when a log is dropped and the Sparky fires a weapon. It's all completely out of sync. That, however, is not the biggest problem. The worst crime any screen recorder can have is failing to actually screen record. I tried to record Super Mario Run three times and on two occasions, even though it told me it was recording, it simply didn't have anything to show at the end of a recording except for two white screens and zero seconds of recording. Worse still, it seemed to break the audio on my iOS device and it required a complete restart to get that back up and running. When I did get things back up and running, listen to how bad the audio visual sync here. It's probably even worse than Clash Royale.
As well as the poor quality videos, you also have issues like this, where I've tried to start a recording and it's just giving me a whirly gig and not doing anything. And I'll have to try and close the application and sometimes recordings just never start. So in terms of this screen recorder, there are numerous problems with it and I wouldn't recommend it as your first choice. As a backup, if you absolutely need one, by all means download this and use it when Airshow and Visorec and other screen recorders you would usually use are not available. If you have any other further questions about this or any other iOS screen recorder, then pop them in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you out. Otherwise, subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.